Let's go ahead and download some different worlds. So taking a look at these options, let's start with the easiest. We are just going to hit play and create new. And then we can pick from some pre-made templates. These templates provide a framework for you to create lessons, or it might be a great place for you uh, to be learning more about Minecraft. So for instance, in a later video, we're going to take a look at the tutorial volume two. Let's go ahead and click on it. You see we can pick all the same modes as before. We'll leave it as it is and hit create. Okay, it looks like the world is coming online. And this is Tutorial World 2. I would highly recommend that you go through Tutorial World 2. And basically you'll be reading the signs, following the instructions. You can always right click on what these are. These are called NPCs uh, to learn more from them. Let's switch over now to the other option that you have. We'll go on the internet, education.minecraft.net. This is a great site for resources dedicated to Minecraft Education Edition. Within the classroom resources, we're just going to go to Find Worlds. So there is a world library. It sometimes takes a little bit of time to load. Down here is even a filter. So you could search by keyword. You could load up templates. You could look for different specific types of worlds. Let's go ahead and pick one out. I always like Lesson Hub. You'll see the little down arrow for download. You will download a zip file to your computer, open it up. The little icon that's a little library icon, you just double click and open up that file. It's going to prompt you to sign in. All right, no peeking at my password. At the top, you see level import started. That's a good sign. Level import finished successfully. At this point, okay, where is it? Well, you have to hit play, scroll down, and you'll find Lesson Hub, which is what we want to go into. We're just going to do one more thing in just a second as this world loads up. And that is make sure that when you download these worlds that you uh, consider renaming them, especially if you're going to have multiple versions so that you can go back and later um, pick out the right one that you want to access. Especially recommend naming your worlds and renaming your worlds when you're generating new worlds because a whole bunch of new world titled uh, worlds isn't really helpful. All right, so here we go. So we've made it, we're in uh, Lesson Hub. These pre-made worlds are amazing in terms of having lots of resources ready to go for you as the teacher.